Hello and welcome. I am Raghav and today we are going to learn about comments and variables in JavaScript. So let me go to my Visual Studio code and if I go to the Explorer, uh, we created hello.js and index.html in the earlier session. I am just going to create a new file here and I will name this as comments and variables.js and press enter and we have got it here. Now in JavaScript, you can just use double forward slash to give a comment and I can say this is a comment and this is a single line comment. So I can say this is a single line comment. If you have to give multiple line comments, you can say forward slash star and you can end with star forward slash. So now here I can give multi line comments. I will say this is a multi line comment. And I can also just say forward slash and I can say star star and I can just give anything here as well. So I can just say this is a sample comment. So you can create comments like this and comments are used to provide some useful information about your code and you can also use comments in general to provide any information or suggestions and it makes it easy for others to read your code so whenever a new person looks at your code comments will give him some more information and it will become very easy to understand your code and we can also use comments to comment out some sections in your code for example there is some code i want to comment out so let's say i have some code here and I want to comment it out so I can just provide forward slash in front of this and this will be commented out and as a shortcut I can also press control and forward slash on my keyboard or command and forward slash in case of Mac and it will be commented out in case you have uh, more than one line so for example you have some more lines here you can select everything and then press control and forward slash or command and forward slash in case of Mac and everything will be commented out and you can select again and press the key combination again control forward slash and it will be uncommented so you can also use this key combinations and you can comment out code sections and comments are ignored by JavaScript engine so in any language comments are ignored by the compiler or the interpreter and they are not considered during execution of the code so this is about comments and if I talk about variables so for variables let me just give the heading here and now you can see comments can also be used for doing this kind of a uh, distinction within the code so variables in JavaScript you can just use the keyword let and give a variable name and then you can also give a value like I am saying let x equals 10 earlier we used to use the keyword where and where was used for declaring variables but now we use let it will work now as well you can also use where but as a good practice now we have stopped using where and we only use let as a keyword for declaring variables so you can say let x and then say x equals 10 in two different line or I can also say let x equals 10 in a single line so if I just go to Google and search for JavaScript variables analogy just to show you and I go to images and here you can see a analogy or an image that will help understand variables so you can say variables is like a box and the box has some name and we can have a value inside the box so for this example there is a box and it has a name message and the value is hello so this is similar to I say let message equals hello so here we have a variable by the name message and its value is hello and if I show you the other image so if you see this we can also change the variable and the earlier value will be deleted so if I say message equals welcome so in this case the message variable now will have a new value called welcome and the earlier value will be deleted so this is how you can think of variables and you can also give multiple variables in a single line i can say let x and y separated by a comma and then i can declare x and y separately like this 
or I can also declare and also provide values in the same line I can say let x equals 10 and comma y equals 20 and this is also valid so all this is valid so if I talk about the syntax you can just say let x or let x equals 10 let x and y in the same line separated by comma or you can say let x equals 10 and y equals 20 separated by comma and you can also use the where keyword but as a good practice now we only use let for declaring variables also um, here you can see it is used to store data that we have already seen and you can look at variables as containers for storing data and values uh, important information is variable names should only contain digits or letters or symbols dollar and underscore there should be no other symbol in the name of the variables and some guidelines on variables it can begin only with a letter or an underscore so you should not be having variable like one two three or one two three test and you can also see we are getting an error here because it is not expected to have variables like this it should only begin with letter or an underscore and then it should not start with number it should not be a reserved keyword like if else uh, let where etc so you cannot give a variable name let if or you cannot also give something like let boolean or let 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 where all this is not allowed because all these are reserved keywords and variables are case sensitive so if I say let name and let name with a capital N so these are two different variables because variables are case sensitive and we should always use some meaningful names in variables so until now I have just shown you for example with X and Y but in practice you should always use some meaningful names so you should say something like let first name equals Raghav let last name equals Pal and so on so you should use some meaningful names it will also help you to understand your code when you look back at your code and others can also understand it easily so use meaningful names and as a good practice we use camel casing in variable names and what is camel casing if you look here in this variable name the first letter of the first word is small case and then the first letter of every subsequent work a word is capital so if you, you can see here f is small and then name in name n is capital so for every subsequent word the first letter will be capital and this is called as camel casing or camel notation so as a good practice we use camel casing in variable names I hope this session was very useful for you in the coming session I will discuss more topics on JavaScript and you can share your knowledge with everyone and I hope all this was very useful I will meet you in the next episode of JavaScript thank you for watching